<laughs> Good morning, boys and girls. Welcome back to Room 9. It's Dr. Sanders, and we're ready to do some pre-K and K, ELA, and math. And we're here in the largest classroom in the region, and I'm ready to get started. Are you ready to get started today? Yeah, oh, you forget. Okay, I have my hat on. Now I'll take it off. <laughs> I just like doing that. I don't know why. Don't laugh at me. It's okay. Okay. Remember, I work at Adams Elementary and St. Louis Public Schools, and I teach pre-K. Hopefully, my pre-K students are watching. Hi, room 003. Um, and we're ready to get started. This week, we are talking about, um, we always look at our Missouri early learning or Missouri learning standards. We're listening for different purposes, but we're going to make predictions. We're going to make predictions, and we're going to explore graphing and data again. Okay, so let's get started. Um, today, let's look at our, you see what's behind me? You see our lovely letter chart. You see our lovely letter chart. We have some letters that we all, it's almost filled in. So we're going to do a few of our letters today, and then we may do some more tomorrow. My eye itches. I don't know why it itches. That's okay, though. Get my hand sanitizer. If I touch my eye, I got to get hand sanitizer. That's right. Clean those hands all the time. All right, let's pick a letter. What letter is this? Right, that's the letter L. L for what? Leah? Hey, Leah. Yes, yes, maybe. Um, L makes the what sound? Lollipop, lollipop. Ooh, ooh, lollipop. L for lollipop, L for luscious, L for lip. Ooh, I just hit myself in the lip. L goes right there. All right, let's find us another letter. Ooh, what letter is this? You. U, U is a vowel. Remember our vowels, they make two sounds. What sound is you what sounds do you does you make? It makes the uh sound and the ooh sound. Like an a U sound. It makes I'm sorry, I said ooh. That's like oh uh two O's. But it makes the U sound like ukulele or useful. It is useful to know what you're talking about when you're trying to teach. Or it makes the uh sound like umbrella, but it's a vowel. Remember our vowels? A E I O U. The U. So let's find the U ukulele, yes. Umbrella. Let's find where U goes. R S T U. Can you see that U in front of that book? Okay, let's do another letter. What letter is this? That's right, G. G makes what sound? G -g -g goat. G -g -g yes, goat. Go. Give. Get. Give. Get. Give me some money. <laughs> G makes what sound again? G. All right, let's find our G. G. That's right. That's the letter G. Let's do one more letter. What letter is this? Ooh, I heard it. I heard a lot. Of, Elaine, what did you say? E. Right. E. E. E for Elijah. Yes. Elijah's name does start with an E. E. E is a vowel. Let's name our vowels again. A-E-I-O-U. So E says two, two names. It, has, it says two things. It says E, like an elephant or egg. And E, like an Elaine or Eclipse or even E. E is going to go up the elevator to find where it goes. And then he's going across the escalator. Do, 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 do. E. E is right there. 
We have a lot of letters up there. We have a lot of letters. All right, boys and girls. Let's move on to our next thing. And we're going to look at some words. We learned some new words this week. We learned some words from long, a long time ago. Remember, I told you about your word books that you can make. I would love to see some of you all making your word books. I made mine all plain. It just has orange lettering. But you can make it decorate your cover. And then on the inside... You can write your words, like these words, at, us, and the, and some other words. We have six and in. So I just took some pieces of paper and folded them together. Folded three. And you can have four pieces of paper, five. I would put a lot. And then, so I have my word book. So I want to see some of your word books. Hashtag, uh... Now I network on Instagram or take a picture. Your parents can find it, remember? But let's look at these words. Anybody remember this word? What is this word? What is this word? This word is what? Oh, somebody got it. This exactly right. That's right, London. That is this. Let's spell the word this. Read it. This. Spell it. T. H I S, read it. This. This word is going to go on the table. What is this word? Will. Will you please help me spell will? Thank you. Let's read it. Will. Let's say the letters W I L L. Will. And boys and girls, if you don't know how to spell it, you can repeat that. You can mimic when I say it. Like when I say W, you can say it to yourself. You can say W. And that's fine. And what is this word? I am very happy to see you watching me. Am. Am. What are the two letters in am? A and M. Exactly. Let's spell am. Am. A. M M. And we have one more word this week, I think. I hope. This word is of. Everybody say of. What letter is this, Sire? O. What about what letter is this, Wyatt? F. O F of. Let's spell it again. Read it. Of. O F of. We we went over some of our friends' names. We have some more friends today that we're gonna go over. We're gonna spell their names and know their. Um, we're gonna go over their names real quick, and then we'll get ready to read our book. Cause I know you've been sitting there, you're getting tired. Ooh, whose name is this? If this is your name, put your hand in the air and wave it like you just don't care. That's right, that is Wyatt. What letter does Wyatt's name start with? A capital W. Okay, mimic me. W, Y, A, am I going too fast? I'm sorry. W, Y, A, T, T. Wyatt. All right, here we go. W, Y, A, T, T. W-Y-A-T-T. -T. That's Wyatt, another one of my friends. Zayden, that's right, Zayden. What letters, everybody, what letter does Zayden's name start with? I didn't hear you. That's right, Z. Z for Zayden. Capital Z. A. I. Ooh, I have a naked eye. I need to put a dot on top of there. D. E. N. Z A I D E N. Z A I D E N. I put my dot on my eye. There's Zayden. And I have one more. And whose name is this? Azuri. Yes. Azuri. 
What letter does her name start with? A capital A. Capital A, Z, U, R, I. A, Z, U, R, I. A, Z, U, R, I. Azuri. All right, those are my three names. You're tired? Why are you so tired? You haven't done anything yet. Oh, you have. I'm sorry. You have. You've been working hard. All right, everybody stand. Let's let's get let's get some, let's get some energy. Let's get some energy. All right, everybody jump up and down five times. Go. One, two, three, four, five. All right, nod your head two times. You ready? Go. One, two. Okay, left, right, ten times. You ready? Go. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Dab two uh, dab seven times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. You wanna what do you wanna do? Jumping jack? Oh, okay. We can do the jumping jacks. Jumping jacks four times. Let's go. One, two. Three, four. Whew. Are you ready? Okay, let's go. Let's sit down on three. One, two, three. Up, down, up, down. Sit right down on the ground. All right. We today. This week we're gonna um, we're talking about making predictions. Making predictions. Now, this book I'm going to read is called. And if you already know what's happening, don't tell everybody, okay? But this book I'm going to read it is called Flying. Do you see the book? Flying? What's happening on that front cover? Right, Maurice? The boy is flying, isn't he? He's flying. What do you think is going to happen? Remember, making predictions is just about um, thinking about what you think, what, what will happen. Making a guess on what will happen. So what do you think is going to happen in this book? You think the boy is going to learn how to fly? Okay. Where do you think he's going to fly? Oh. Yes. He could fly over his house. You think he's going to fly to Disney World? Okay. You think he's going to fly to, to see Big Bird? He might. Oh, okay. So I want you to think about what do you think is going to happen in this story? And then I'm going to read it and then we'll talk about it. You think he's going to fly to Nine Network? Okay, we'll see. Flying. And the author is Kevin Luthar. And it's illustrated by Kevin Luthar. What does who? The author. Man, I forgot. What does the author do? Oh, that's right. He writes the words in the story. And the illustrator does what? Draws the picture. That's right. This is the what? Spine. Go ahead. Back cover. Front cover. All right. So let's go. Flying. And this right here is the title page. What do you think is going to happen? Papa, why can't I fly? Because, son, you don't have wings. But why don't I have wings? Well, that's because you have arms. Well, 
Why do I have arms, Papa? To hold up your hands, of course. But why do I have hands? Because hands are good for grabbing. Do you think you know what's going to happen? What's your prediction? You think what do you think he's gonna say next? Hmm. And swinging? And tossing? Toss your teddy bear, but make sure you don't toss any your little baby sister. And flying. Is the little boy flying? Do your grown ups ever help you fly? Ooh, look. Look where the little boy's flying. Is he using his imagination? How about you all close your eyes just for about five seconds. Close your eyes and fly somewhere. Fly wherever you want to fly. Where are you flying to? Oh, you flying there? Okay. I can fly, Papa. Maybe I do have wings. Maybe we both do. Papa, why can't I breathe underwater? And this book was read with permission from Peachtree Publishing. Hmm, why can't you breathe underwater? So, at the beginning, I asked you to make a prediction. Did your prediction come true? What was your favorite part of the story? You like when he was flying with the birds? Where did you fly to? You know what? I flew to the Mississippi River. And I lo since I love fishing, actually, since I was fishing, I could fly over the water. I saw the big fish, and I swooped down, and I got me a Real, very big catfish. Now I brought it home to eat it. So what did you fly to? Maybe you can draw a picture of what you flew to and share it with me. You know how. All right. What we're going to do now. Oh, oh. What we're going to do now is a little math. We're going to do a little math. We're going to count to 30 and then we're going to do a little graphing. And then we'll be ready to go. You need our number chart to count to 30? Yeah, we better use our number chart. Let's use our number chart. And we're going to count to 30. Are you ready? Here we go. Warm up your voices first. La, 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 la. <laughs> All right, you ready? We're on the number chart. We're going to start counting with zero. Let's go. Zero. One, two, three, four, five. Slow down. Six, 
7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. Woo, you all are getting so good at counting. We've been talking about graphing and data, right? You just have data. Data gets your graphs, and the graph makes helps you see the data even easier. We're going to do a quick, um, I'm going to show you something and show you how quick you can do a graph, especially for us pre-K and kindergarten students. We have, in this cup, I have some squares. What color squares do I have? Red. Right. Um, what, what, what? Yes, that's right. That's green, Nancy. What color is this? Yellow. And what color is this? Ariel, what color is this? Right, blue. In this cup, that's what squares I have. And it's so hard to see how many squares I have. So what we're going to do is we're going to make a graph. Now, if you were at home and you wanted to make a graph, you could just draw it. And you could draw your squares on there. And then I'm going to show you how you could, in front of you, how you could actually make it. So what we're going to do is I'm going to grab a color out of here. I'm going to grab a color out of here. And then what we're going to do is put it into our graph. Okay, so let's see. What color is this, Alvy? Right, yellow. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take my marker and I'm going to make me a square. To let me know ahead. I'm going to make me a square in the yellow box. Okay. Here we go. Let's get another square. What color is this? Red. Yes, that's red. So where do I put my square? In the red box. What color is this? Green. So where do I put my square? In the green box. I'm going to draw me a square right there. So if you take a look, I have one red one, one green one, and one yellow one so far. All right. Oops. I dropped my cup. What color is this? Leland, what color is this? Red. So I have another what? Red one. Exactly. And what color is this? Yes, that's right. That's blue. No, that's not blue. What color is that? That's a green square. So I'm going to put my... Grab me another green square in my box. What color is this? Yes, that is red. So I'm going to draw me another red square. And what color is... This, William. Green. That's exactly right. So I'm going to draw you another green square. Another box in the green square. I have a few more in here. What color is this, Alicia? Yes, yellow. Exactly. So I'm going to draw me a square in the yellow on the graph in the yellow column. 
What color is this? Abigail? Red. Yes, Abigail, that is red. So I can draw me another square in the red column. And I have one more in here. And what color is this, Lauren? Blue. Thank you, Lauren. That is blue. So I think that was my first blue. So I grabbed draw me a blue one in this column. And then it's empty, right? And so if I look at my graph, you can see which one has more. Can you see my graph? Okay. So we look and we see we organized our data. So instead of having them all in the cup, instead of having them all in the cup, we put them on a graph. Which one has the most? Which one has the most? King. Which one has the most? Yes, red. Red has how many? Four. Let's count them. One, two, three, four. Right, so red had the most. Which one had the least? Least means it barely had any. It had the less. Which one had less? Blue. Because it had how many? One. Exactly. How many did yellow have? Yes, me. Two. Because we go to yellow. One, two. And how many did green have? Let's everybody count it together. One, two, three. Green had three. And what room are we in? Room what? Nine. Room nine. The largest classroom in the region. Let's spell nine. Read it. Nine. N I N E. Room nine, the largest classroom in the region. Thank you, boys and girls. See you tomorrow. Teaching in Room 9 is made possible with support of Bank of America, Dana Brown Charitable Trust, Emerson, and viewers like you.